Hey guys! Alright, so this is sort of an episode, junk and art. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I do things like the little art paper clips and other uh, mixed media things and I'm frequently either making marks with garbage, junk, or I'm actually using it in my artwork. Let me get you a couple examples, hang on. Okay, so if you've been following me for a while, you know I do um, art paper clips and things. And um, here's one. Can you spot the junk? <laughs> the, the, this is a pull tab. And this is the little plastic thing from your loaf of bread. I save all kinds of things. Here's one, it just has a stick. I use popsicle stick and another bread tab. Um, let's see, do I have any more in here? I just grabbed one bag of paper clips. Or bin, sorry. There's some old thread. That was just like old thread off the end of a spool. Um, this is bits and pieces of technology salvage, an old pair of dead headphones and things. I took them apart and took the guts out. So I save all kinds of weird garbage, things you most no normal people would throw away. Uh, <laughs> I don't throw it away. So the only problem with that is I have a, a wooden tray at the end of my table that's usually organized. It's not so much right now. Um, it does tend to be a dumping ground and I pile stuff on there. Um, and at some point it gets to be too full and I can't find anything, which it is right now. So we're gonna sort of go through it, put some things away. I'm gonna talk about what I've kept and why and what I've kept and I don't know why. And hopefully it gives you some ideas of some things that you can do with your junk in your art. Um, here's another one. It's old cardboard, pull, pull tab. This is the, that blue thing, the blue line, that's a metal bobby pin. Um, the plastic that the word, the word is on, the quote is on, is plastic packaging. So, junk and art. I use a lot of junk. Let's see what's in the tray this month. And let's see how we can clean it and straighten it and make it so that I can organize it. Let's get rid of the things that aren't going to serve. And make it so that we can maybe make some more paper clips and things. Yeah? Alright, hang on. Let's go to the table. I'll be right back. Okay, this is just the pile of stuff that was on top of said tray um, that was causing it to look completely unorganized. Um, not that there's not things over here that I couldn't still get rid of, but let's start with this, shall we? Um, I recently ordered some fat quarters um, to replenish some of my fabric stash because uh, all the fabric stores are closed right now. We're in the midst of the pandemic. So they wrapped everything up. One of the companies wrapped everything up really nicely. It's Murdoch um, Textiles. Uh, and um, they wrapped it with this nice string and a card with a thank you note. I'm gonna actually keep the string and I'm gonna keep it on the thank you note. I'm gonna use the card like a bobbin. Like that. Because I can use that string on a paper clip or something. So I'm going to use a piece of scotch tape to secure that down. Like that. So I'll set that aside. I have this tassel I must have bought somewhere. I don't remember buying it, but I'm sure I bought it recently. So we're going to take that off the packaging. Okay, throw the packaging away, Just grab the garbage can, we're going to need it. A uh, neighbor, I watched her dog for her, and she brought me back this beautiful um, sort of sea glass pendant uh, from Florida, and it is by, let's see, hold on, can't get the card out, <laughs> hold on, holy cow. Um, inspired by the sea, sea glass and coastal boutique in Inglewood, Florida. So I'm going to keep this. I don't need the packaging. Um, 
I have plenty of these little haagen things and the spoons. I don't need to keep any more. I bought myself some new sunglasses. I'm notoriously bad about destroying sunglasses. I don't need the packaging. I also have a ton of these asparagus little things. I don't need those either. This is left over from an unsuccessful mold making adventure with some silicone mold making compound and I don't need to keep this. <laughs> I, don't, I just, I don't need to keep that. These are some dried glitter glue, which I want to save. I actually have a jar of them in the tray. I'm going to go put them in the jar. This is some Tim Holtz ribbon some, from some bundles of Tim Holtz fat quarters. Do I want to keep these? Um, I have so much ribbon and stuff. I mean, I know it's just nice grow green ribbon. You could probably print on the back or something. You know what? I don't need to keep them. They can go away. Here's some stickers that my husband got in junk mail. I think I'm going to keep those and use those on something. Piece of newspaper that can go in the trash. Pieces of tissue box, maybe. Napkins. I pulled some napkins out of my stash that I want to use. Those are over here intentionally. This is a piece of painty paper I did recently that I want to save and use on something. Scraps that we're going to just get rid of. These I use, this, these are bits of Tyvek envelope, party mail envelope. I use them on the back of the paper clips, so we'll save those. Different little pieces of paper with images on them I thought were interesting that I could use on paper clips. And a bunch of magazine pages. We'll look at those in a minute. So I think These are all smaller images that I can use on paper clips for the most part. So I'm going to put these in the tray. I have a section for images, magazine images. And I'm sorry about the loud banging noises. My neighbor is doing some construction, if you can hear that. Um, Anyway, my daughter and her fiance bought a house recently and there was all these like little magnets and things left in the house. And I found this little like evergreen or Christmas tree charm thing. Um, these are from my grandmother's antique punch bowl. Um, these I found laying around in the kids' new house in their garage. They're from a level. Um, so I want to keep some of these things and keep them in the tray. So I think we need to, let's see, look at what else is over here. So one of the organizers in the tray, in the tray is a muffin tin. I have things organized in different kinds of tins or baskets. You have to organize your junk. <laughs> If you don't have it organized, then you can't remember. If you're like me, then you can't remember what you have. So in this one, I have this. This is a shot glass. It's a vintage shot glass. It was my grandmother's. And that's where the dry glitter glue is. Those can go away. That's just can all be trashed. Oh, what's in here? Some of what's in here has been in here a while, and the rule is if I haven't used it in a while, then it has to go back in its space or it has to just go away. And so we need to look at that today. Okay. Now you can really see all the crazy junk I keep. Go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take some of our like jewelry findings. I'm going to put those in one section. Um, 
I'm going to put, I have sort of things to make shaker clips or shaker cards with. So they can go in another section, including these little teeny tiny empty bottles. These are from like nail glitter and things. Oops. Okay, packaging. We have some packaging. This is a dried up tube of watercolor paint. This is from the wrapper from a pan, a watercolor half pan. Um, these are some of those, um, I showed these in a different video. These are from some Christmas lights, some packaging. And then we have some more bread tabs and a bottle cap. So that'll all go there. See what I mean about all these spoons? There's some more bread tabs. Can't get that one. Can't pick it up. Okay, another bottle cap. I need a, I need a chair. Okay. So we'll put these in here. There's a bread tab over here. I can see it. Okay. I don't know why some of this is in here. Uh, game pieces. And um, wax seals. That can go in the trash. This is the heart off of the top of a Southwest Airlines um, toothpick stirrer thing. Put that there. I'm gonna put these here. We just knocked over all of our glitter pieces. I'm, you know, I'm about done with these dried glitter. Maybe these all need to go away. I'm thinking to do. So sometimes you save things that you later think, why did I save that? I don't need to save that. I need to let it go. And that's okay. Um, I save things for a little bit thinking maybe I'll use it, but then if I don't, I don't need to hang on to it for eternity. I always have like a miscellaneous container and maybe we'll use the shot glass for that. Oh, or maybe not. We have another section over there. Okay. Um, let's see. I have a couple more containers. This one has like brads and stuff in it. So let's put some of these in here. And there's a, a se lone sequin. And a lone seashell. I'm gonna get rid of the eraser. We're gonna put the little Christmas tree charm thing with the jewelry pieces. Uh, I've got some glitter glue here. And sticks tape. Yeah, those can all stay. We've got some more packaging, these tea, ye yellow tea bag labels. I'm gonna put them in with the other packaging. So you see, hopefully you're getting an idea of how I organize things um, in um, my tray that's on the table. I do have, put this in there. I do have a lot of like little bits of what most people would call junk laying around. I use all of it in my art at some point and if I don't, it goes away. I don't keep things forever. And if I've accidentally thrown something away I think I want to use later, well, it is junk and I can probably get a new one. I 
think that works for me. I don't need to keep that. Nails. All right, hang on one second. Okay, I have a couple things that I don't want to get rid of, but I need to put away in my bank of small bits that don't live at the table um, because I'm not going to use them right now, but I don't want to get rid of them. Um, everything else is now more neatly organized in my tray, which is over that way, and I will get you a picture of it that I'll insert right about here. Um, I do think I have a video on it somewhere. If I can find it, I'll link it. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to show you now how I use some of these small bits of garbage um, in my um, art. And I'm going to make a paper clip, um, an art clip, and I'm going to use this old gift bag that somebody gave me, and this is a piece of a tissue box piece of cardboard and a little image out of a magazine, a Subaru ad. Um, and so we are going to make a paper clip and I'm going to speed forward through my process and I'll be right back.
So in short, if you're a mixed media artist, it's not junk or garbage. They're art parts. <laughs> um, to most people, they're just trash. But I love to reuse and recycle things in art. And even those small bits that I sometimes can't use for something like this or in an art journal page, I do something like this with them. So these are some coasters that I did yesterday. And they need another layer on them because they're not um, flat on top. These are some just old floral and seashell pieces from back in the day when we used that kind of thing in our arts and crafts. I had a bunch of them. And I had some old resin. This, literally, this one is literally junk. So I've been making um, face masks because of the um, my asthma and the situation with the pandemic that we're um, experiencing right now. And I just took all the little clipping corners and I put them in some resin. Again, I have to put another coat on it. There's a few air bubbles. It's not perfect, but it's okay. It makes an interesting conversational art piece. So before you toss it out, take a second look at it and see what else you can do with it, I guess is my lesson for this month. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, I, I can't even sometimes manage to throw fabric scraps away. Every month it's going to be a little different. Some months I'll show you what I'm using and we'll use, do it in a journal page. Some months we'll do another paper clip. But every month the parts I'm actually using will be a little bit different. I would love to see what kind of junk or garbage you're using in your art. What are those little pieces you just cannot manage to throw away that you're saving to use in art and that you've been using in your art. For me, one of the biggies is the plastic bread ties. I just don't ever seem to manage to throw them away. I am amassing a lot of them, but I do use them, so I guess that's good. Anyway, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me those comments down below about what you can't seem to manage to throw away. What kind of junk or garbage are you using in your art? Are you saving everything from cardboard and plastic packaging to those little plastic bread ties and tea bag? labels. I, you know, what is it for you? I'd love to know. If you want, don't want to leave something in the comments below and you're over on Facebook, you could always join my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, and start a conversation over there. I'd love to hear what you say. Check out the video for description for any relevant links, including the ways to support the free content here on YouTube and over on the Facebook art groups not only on my videos, but on all the artists' videos here on YouTube and in the Facebook groups. There is usually a way to support them. Sometimes they have an Etsy shop, sometimes they have a PayPal tip jar. Whatever it is, find out, check it out, and support your favorites. The most important thing is to go out there and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.